Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out touring some of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. This particular property is at 1805 Bachman Court, Gaston, South Carolina. I'm thinking Columbia because we're just beside Columbia. We're not far from the farmer's market. We have a three bedroom, two bath, brick home. Needs a little doings here and there. Uh, paint, carpet, that kind of thing. And might need to repair a few boards and things that I see. Let's go on in and take a look. But before we do, caution. There are some vulgar words on the wall, but the only way I can show you this house is you're just going to have to see them. And I hope you'll forgive me, but if not, I couldn't show you any walls. I couldn't show you anything. So be prepared to overlook that. And we're talking about the house, and once it's painted and cleaned up, it'll be fine. All right, we're going to head inside, take a look. Hope you'll enjoy this video and I encourage you to come out and look at this property. All right, I'm inside the front door, and I just want to caution you one more time that in order for me to show you this house, um, you're going to see some vulgar words, and uh, I apologize you have to, but I didn't write them. All right, this is uh, inside the front door. This is a nice family room. You see an uh, uh, entry over there at the Kitchen. I'll show you that, but uh, they punched a few holes in the wall. I think they'll be pretty easy to fix and be ready to paint. Now I do uh, notice in here, the uh, carpet, just forget about it, it's got to go, but uh, there's a little place right here and it could be some gutter stop, but we'll look at it when we get out front. Uh, maybe a little leakage there. You might want to even look at putting a roof on this house. If you're gonna have it for a while. Um, I'm gonna walk across and turn around so we can get a little bit better view back toward the door. All right, here's a, uh, a better view. Somebody has knocked the glass out of the storm door, so be cautious when you walk out there. I hope you don't come out in some flip-flops or something to look at this house. Yeah. But all in all, it's, it can be fixed. All right, this is our kitchen. I'm, in, I'm standing in the dining area. Uh, looks like birch cabinets, maybe some doors missing, that type thing. According to what you're gonna use it for, I do see a little uh, popcorn peeling off the ceiling over there uh, in that corner of the cabinet. And as I look around, this is a pretty good floor plan. Here's a little side door, so if you pull up and wanna bring your groceries right in the kitchen, you can. Probably going to need a few doors in this house uh, when you come out here and look at it. All right, I want to show you this one room while we're here. This is the laundry. Um, looks like that's where the water heater was. It's gone, but I do see the wiring and the pipe to it. It's a uh, plastic pipe. I see a vent for the uh, dryer and a plug, and I do see the water for your laundry. All right, we're gonna step around the corner and go down the hallway and check out the rest of the house. All right, this is the hallway. Looks like somebody's done something with the floor there. Maybe the subfloor was there and then they had another floor, there's a piece of it missing. Another big hole punched in the wall. All right, and this is our bath on the left. I'll let you be the judge. Um, I did notice this, and the baths are back to back. We'll see the other one in a minute, but there's a leak there, and I think it's around the vent. We'll sh I'll show you that when we go outside. But bath probably need a little work in here, and I see somebody's been working on the floor. All right, this is our first um, bedroom. It's on the right going down the hall. It's in the middle when you look at the house. There's a big punch place. That'll probably take a piece of sheetrock. But then I look at the rest of it. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, ceiling looks pretty good in this room. I don't see anything. And the floor, uh, this is not the worst room, but uh, probably you're gonna replace this carpet. Next room. All 
All right, this is our next bedroom. This is in good a condition as that last bedroom, except we don't have any holes in the wall in here. They missed one. And uh, again, that carpet, it, it's gonna be replaced. But I did want to show you uh, up at the ceiling, it looks pretty nice. It's in pretty good shape. All right, one more uh, bedroom. I'm gonna call this the master bedroom. It's on the back right of the house. I noticed uh, something I hadn't pointed out in a few rooms. We've had some window replacements and this is one of them. The uh, tilt in style, not all of them been replaced because this back one here is not. All right, I'm gonna move over this way a little bit. Give you another perspective of this bedroom. Couple of holes there. Sometimes I wonder if they hit the studs when they rear back and hit one of those. Of course, some of them use a hammer. All right, and this is our bathroom. Um, you may need some floor work in here. That toilet appears to have a little tilt to it. So check that out. And then here's the other side. I think it's around that vent where it might have leaked at one time. But again, you might want to look at the roof. Probably going to need a few doors in this house too. All right, we're going to go outside and take a look out there and um, end up our tour. All right, I'm here at the uh, drive taking a look at the house. Um, I see some trim that needs to be repaired. That's what I was talking about earlier when I started and probably where this shrub looks like an azalea there uh, trimmed it would be much better and look better and you'd be able to see the house might want to just dig that one up but i did want to show you this is a like a cul-de-sac but it's a little loop and everybody else has got their house real nice and i think this is a pretty quiet little street here but you may want to decide whether you want to go ahead and put shingles on it now and be done with it but it is a good brick home anytime you start with brick you're better off now on this side of the house the trim looks pretty good um, you know you're probably going to paint some people wrap it in vinyl but it looks pretty good on this side I want to show you the backyard as we come around and it's not overgrown dead tree there and I see a utility building I don't know what you're gonna do with it but right, I'm gonna stop right here I want you to look how much goop they've got got around that uh, vent that that has to have something to do with it and the other vent looks like the oven vent that's where it leaked in the uh, kitchen so I'm thinking if you do put a roof on it, put some new vents and get it all straightened out, I think you'll be fine with that problem and it'll be solved. And that's where the AC was. I don't know how long they've had this house, but it looks like it's been a while since that was missing. So this house uh, may have been vacant a while, but it doesn't have that smell like it has. It's pretty clean uh, house. not that bad and here we are back around at the front and I think you got a good house here to get started with just get over here and get the work done shouldn't take long a week or two and you'll be done rent own whatever you want to do with it I think it's a good house well that's going to uh, conclude our tour here at Botman Court as you can see we've got a pretty solid brick house to start with needs all those normal things cleaning paint carpet flooring and it's going to need a few repairs here and there that i pointed out i encourage you to come out and look at them yourself I, this is not a home inspection i'm just telling you what i see as i walk by and i might miss something all the houses are open uh, the day before the bidding ends for about four hours so you're welcome to come out and visit them you can walk around them anytime this house is vacant also uh, i want to just give you a few tips before i leave 
This is an online only auction. Before you place a bid, read your contract package. We have a lot of questions answered in there and it'll help you know what you need. There's a buyer premium, there's a $5,000 deposit, closing 30 days. It's not about the knowing when the, um, whether you're gonna get a loan or not. I mean, you'll lose you five thousand dollars if you don't close. So before you bid, make sure you got everything lined up. Also, if you're a first-time bidder, bid early in the process. If you wait the last five minutes, try to register and bid, you might miss out. All this is uh, run by computers, and the information you put in has to match in order for you to uh, receive a bidding number and make the number work. All right, I'm gonna move along. I hope this video uh, is helpful to you. I hope it'll encourage you to come out here and look at this property in person and be the high bidder. I'm gonna move along, but remember one last time, it's terryhow.com, that's the place to bid. Thank you.